Eaton senior Sarah Willis has been flat out phenomenal on the golf course. Now, I wish there was more time to really dive into all the numbers, but the Penn State commit is trying to become only the fourth girls golfer ever to win back to back state titles. My whole high school golf career is just kind of been a whirlwind. It started with a 10th place finish at state as a freshman that she says should have been better. But then Willis missed out on state as a sophomore. Just kind of fueled my fire to go there and do well the next year. Do well doesn't even do it justice. As a junior, Willis shot a 136 over the two days to not only win state, but post the lowest score ever in the tournament by three strokes. Now, she's looking to defend her title. I knew what I had to do. I knew how I needed to prepare. And the fact that I've qualified for state again is just, it makes me ecstatic. And I'm just super excited to see what I can do when I actually get there. She's played in international competitions, but nothing compares to this tournament and being able to represent Eaton. It's not really like anything you've ever done before. It, there's so much hype before it. Last year at state, I had a huge amount of people following me throughout the tournament, and that was just probably part of the reason why I won is just because my support group is so strong. But what's very different for Sarah is during the season, she plays against boys because Eaton doesn't have a girls golf team. So it's not until sectionals that she competes against other girls. The main thing is yardage. Like when I play with the guys, I play their yardage, so it's a lot longer. I'm hitting long irons and woods into greens. And then with girls, it's a lot more wedge game, and it's not necessarily easier. It's just a completely different aspect of my game that I have to make sure is in check since I haven't been using it during the regular season. This year, she shot a 70 to win the boys' SWBL conference tournament, beating the second place golfer by four strokes. When I was a sophomore, I got second, and my brother got first, which is really cool. Because, um, but he just kind of set the expectation for me. He's like, he did it, so now I have to do it. <laughs> She's the defending state champ, Division II record holder, and has shot back-to-back -back 69s in the sectional and district tournaments. Now she's two rounds away from trying to repeat her title. It would just be awesome to win it back to back because I'd be part of a very select few who have ever done that before in their high school careers. A personal goal is to show myself I can do it more than once and I can defend my title for as long as possible.